everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here, back in a video. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Um, so in this tutorial, we are going to be doing the announce kit chat service. Um, it's basically like where you are basically going to announce anything in chat and you are going to um, spread it to the whole server. So if you are looking for this in this video, feel free to pay attention and watch this tutorial. Um, I'll be, be giving you the brief description. But um, yeah, so if you are new to my channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications because it means so much to me. Um, as you guys probably might tell, this is a pre-recorded video. Um, I'm filming this on June 6th, while this is probably going to be published in late July or late June. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying your stay and um, yeah Feel free to join the discord as well maybe, just because we help out everyone there and you might enjoy it. So um, yeah um, And one last thing before we start this video uh, This was actually created by dev Daniel So feel free to go in the description and check out his profile give him a follow or something um, He's a great guy, and he's an advanced programmer or scripter for sure um, But um, yeah, so he helped us make this kit now um, We're gonna go. I mean in the description go over the model and you're gonna be grabbing this right here. So this is gonna be the model. Um, sorry, it's not really loading, but you just click this right here. We'll then say like by get item or whatever, just get it or download it, whatever is easier for you. And you'll be able to put this in your game. So I'll just go to toolbox real quick since I have it. Um, and I'll just open it up right here and we will just see what's inside. So I haven't really opened this myself, so we're going to take a quick look at this. So to change the admins, uh, you go inside announcement hammer and change the user IDs in the table. Uh, what messages, uh, this stuff, this stuff. All right, lots of love, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. Um, so replicate storage. So we're going to make sure we ungroup these in the right places, which I want to make sure you guys do too. So starter GUI um, and everything else. All right. So we have the announcement events, the handler, chat message receiver, and announcement GUI itself. All right, so I'll open all these up real quick. And, um, yeah, all right, so announcement handler. This is one of the service scripts. So this is what basically is um, going to be the people who are able to use it. So adding yourself is pretty easy. Um, you'll just put a comma right here like this, um, and you will just grab your nine number, which is, or just your number, sorry, your profile ID number, and it can just be, you know, anything. Just copy that. It's, it's right in the top of the link. Um, and you just put it in here and you'll be able to be an admin and use this. So how this works is if the player, I mean, if the admin, we're going to check right here. If the admin does slash announce, we are going to um, set the frame to visible and we are going to let them do the chat thing. So this is the functions right here. So announce global and announce server. Um, it looks like it's basically firing to all clients and it's um, publishing to the text filter. I mean, to the text chat. Okay, so I think he did it so it pops up a GUI for everyone. And then, oh, okay, yeah, and then a global announcement. All right. Oh, that's really cool. All right. Um, and then chat message receiver. So on client events, start a set core chat. You now makes it. Yeah, so this is where it makes this thing. Um, you can change the text color. I mean, you can set the font to whatever you like right here. It's pretty easy. Just delete this um, right here. And you can just, you know, like type in like Arial or something like that. Um, pretty easy. Um, and then we have the local script. Uh, I don't know where that was inside. We're going to test this out in a second, guys. Um, so this is where we are doing the um, global button and server button. All right, and we have the thing. Okay, so this is what's basically receiving to everyone. Um, so just make sure it's in the right place and make sure change the admin IDs right here and you'll be all set to go. So if I think if I do slash play here, we can just uh, test this out real quick. Um, but yeah, so I, you know, I haven't really checked this out, but Dev Daniel's just amazing either way. So, all right, so if I do slash announce, okay, so he has this right here. Awesome, okay. So I can put an announcement. I can say, hello, uh, fellow YouTube friends. All right. And I could say server global. Um, so if I go to server, okay, so there we go. So local announcement, hello, YouTube friends. It's just going to go something in there. Um, and then there's a global, which will also do a uh, global announcement kind of like that. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing too crazy. Um, you can use this however you like. Um, what I would recommend if you want to and what you can do um, is in here. So we have a chat message receiver right here. Okay, so this is the on client event. So all clients, you know, that kind of jazz. So um, what you can do is for uh, sending this to all the clients, you can also pop up a GUI that should be able to uh, like 
display what the message was. So it wouldn't be too hard. All you would have to do is put in another, like, okay, so this was the frame that popped in. You would want to, like, make another, uh, so this is, yeah, this is the chat message receiver. You would want to make another GUI like this, and you would want to um, put a frame into it. So, like, we would just put a frame, um, something like that, and we want to put a text label, and, you know, you'd want to make sure it's, like, you know, whatever. Something looks nice like this, okay? So, something like this, and we would put this right here. And, you know, you could just do a text label. And you would want to put this, like, something like this, okay? So, you would put it in here, and... Um, on client event, uh, you would basically do uh, basically script dot parent dot text equals uh, name dot dot text like that. And then what you would do is you would actually just remove, um, you know, you could just remove that. You don't need to worry about font size or anything like that. Um, so you would just set that text right there. And then uh, you would, uh, you know, if you want to, you could do script dot parent dot parent which is a frame dot visible equals um false after waiting for like uh five seconds so you would go like this so uh right here script dot parent dot parent dot visible equals true um and then you would wait like five seconds so basically what would happen is um when this on on, on client event basically um this would be visible it would show the announcement and it would play, uh, then go on visible again. So that's what kind of the point of this is, is to just give you guys a startup of using this chat message service. Um, but yeah, it's just like a simple announcement in the chat, in the chat, sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, feel free to hit that subscribe button, comment, like, and share. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. See you guys later, bye-bye.